Hey there everyone, it's Brian C. here from NSLive.TV. We got a great show for you tonight. We are once again going behind the beer using Zoom to bring people together for a fun virtual sociable where we sample, chat, and connect over a Nova Scotian made beverage. And I, I know, I know cider's not beer, I get that. But hey, you know, I want to include everyone, and a lot of you out there really like cider, especially bulwark cider, right? Am I right? I'm right, I know I'm right. <laughs> and that's made right here in Nova Scotia. It just doesn't get any better than that. So, let's get on to the show and welcome the Zoom participants. See who's with us today. Here we go, welcome everyone. <laughs> Thanks Hi. for joining. Yeah. I especially like to welcome Christine Fritz to the show, and she is from Bulwark Cider, actually coming to us live from the site, our host on Dresden Row in Halifax. Thank you for taking the time to join us on this show. We greatly appreciate it. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for having me. And thank you. Appreciate you coming on. So we've got quite a selection. Uh, well, I've got quite a selection <laughs> in front of me here. And, but I think I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna think I'm gonna try the blush. We've got quite a bit. Um, yeah. So tell tell us a little bit about the blush. It says it's a semi dry. That's right. It's uh, just a little bit on the sweeter side compared to our original cider. Uh, still not very sweet. Just a tiny bit sweet. It's made with Nova Scotia blueberry and cranberry wine. So we actually. We actually make a wine from the berries and then add it to our original cider, which gives it just that tiny bit of added sweetness. It's refreshing, a tiny bit tart from the cranberries, and it's one of our most popular products. It's available in almost every NSLC, should be in every NSLC um, all over the province this summer. And now we have it in a much, requ much requested six pack of cans. Everybody yeah. wanted us to put it in cans so that they could take it to the beach, <laughs> and we're going to be seeing a lot more Bulwark products uh, being offered in cans as uh, that's just something that people mm. seem to be really excited about. Yeah, and I can see why, because it's really a nice individual size. You're not opening a big bottle, you know, so, and there, there it is. It is a really nice blush color to it. Oh, and the fragrance is amazing. I can smell the apples. I think <laughs> my sniffers. Well, not they're the definitely best. Nova Scotia Scotian Gold apples because all of our mm. cider is made with 100% Nova Scotia apples from Scotian Gold, which is the uh, largest cooperative mm. in Nova Scotia. Um, mm -hmm. Nova Scotia farmers, Nova Scotia apples, right in your cider bottle. Excellent. Oh, that's really yummy. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mmm. <laughs> I have another drink. Okay. Mm. I saw that one in the liquor store. Yeah. Definitely going to have to pick that one up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And like all of our ciders, uh, it's gluten free. And all of our ciders, except for yeah. our gold cider, are vegan. Our gold cider has uh, Nova Scotia honey mead in it, which is um, mm. a honey wine. So Ooh, yeah. where, where it is made by bees, it's not vegan, but all of our other products are vegan. Mm -hmm. Nice, because I know there is I, a meadery in, in the province. I've talked to them at one point, a few years back now. So, yeah, there's uh, actually a there's a couple ago. of them now, a couple mm -hmm. different places that are doing meads, and and uh, that's such a fun drink too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the honey brew. That's that's nice too. Yeah, so that's the I've got the blush semi dry, and I didn't know it was gluten free. That's good to know. I really uh, appreciate that. Cause you guys have a nice gluten-free restaurant to get a little plug in there for my uh, friends at Christine's Brazier. I think I got it right this time. <laughs> they, uh, they're a gluten-free restaurant in Canning. Awesome. In That's, mm. Canning's a cool little town. I'll have to check it out mm. the next time I'm up there. Um, we are at the Bulwark Cider House here in Halifax, which is on, it's on Dresden Row right across from Pete's Fine Foods. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, uh, we just opened up our patio and backyard. So we have outdoor seating. Uh, our sidewalk patio is dog friendly. So that's fun for everybody. And we're going to start doing some food here in the next couple of, maybe in a month or so, we're looking at doing pizza and we're always going to have gluten-free and vegan options available for everybody on whatever we're doing here. Awesome. We that definitely have to make a point of getting over. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We'll yeah, take Maggie with us. 
<laughs> I sense a venture to the cider house. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> the Swami says. <laughs> you can bring your you can bring your dog to enjoy a cider on the picnic tables at our new Ross Winery too. So that will be no problem if you guys are for you guys out by the South Shore. If you want to bring your pup, that's uh, that's fine. A new Ross too. Awesome. Excellent. Our pup's Road sleeping trip. over there. <laughs> Road trip. Woo. Guess you're enjoying the blush. That's uh, that's yeah. good to know. You can still get it in the bottles if you're looking for it. You can get it from NSLCs. You can get it in uh, Halifax mm -hmm. at our cider house or at New Ross at our winery, or you can order online for shipping throughout Canada. Wow. You visit our web oh, visit yeah. our website. We do ship across Canada. Oh, that's excellent. And speaking of the website, there it yep, is. I brought uh, it up here. You can go to bulwarkcider.com or bulwarkciderhouse.com. Mm -hmm. We we have both, but uh, it'll uh, it'll all get you there. And just click on shop and you can have your cider brought to you. We do delivery on Fridays and Saturdays in Halifax and Dartmouth, uh, free over fifty dollars. Wow. Oh, awesome. yeah. Yes. <laughs> all too easy. Well, I usually spend more than fifty dollars anyway. Mm. Yeah. This strawberry rhubarb is good. Mm. Oh, I'm so glad is you it? like it. Oh. I, I do apologize. I don't really like rhubarb. <laughs> I like That's quite all right. Oh, is that ever nice? <laughs> so when you put oh. your order in, and when you put your order in to have delivery done to Dartmouth, what you're going to do is you're going to get a couple of strawberry rhubarb cans, and then you're going to order some of our classic for your husband, which is going to yep. be an extra dry <laughs> cider. There we go. Well, having said this, I am prepared to try a taste. Come, let's have a taste of it. <laughs> I'll try not to be too. Uh, well, come on. You can do it, Graham. <laughs> Actually, I can't taste rhubarb. It just tastes like a fruity drink. Mm. Now, that's very dangerous. <laughs> if it tastes like a fruity drink, before you realize it, you've had 10 yeah. of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think sometimes rhubarb, it, it can have just a little bit of a bite to it. Like, like a burdock can have a bite to it, but we definitely avoided that. Mm. So it's just got the flavor with none of the bitterness. Mm. No, it's nice. it's definitely. I tasted it, strawberry. But I didn't say rhubarb. It doesn't have the bite that a really dry cider would have. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's still, I still find it dry enough. I love dry it's not, cider. It's not overly sweet. Yeah, it's just. So if if you're uh, if you're enjoying that, then all of our fruit series all, you're going to see on our website. You can order those. We have peach vanilla bean and the strawberry rhubarb the wild blackberry there's um black cherry is made with black cherry wine that one's really good too so those are all great for your fruity drink lovers but then on the dry cider side we have the classic as opposed to the original which is the flagship that you can order the bulwark classic is extra dry the hopped cider is also mm. extra dry um, and then we have our heritage series which is going to be our oak aged the cox orange single varietal and the mm. golden russet single varietal and those are oh, all wow. extra dry as well because mm. i i noticed in the liquor store there was a like a taster's pack yes so there's a mixed eight pack and that contains our four gold medal winning ciders yeah the original and the blush which you tried and then it also contains the gold which is the one that's made with mead and the hopped which is an extra dry cider that's dry hopped so, just so uh, lightly hopped not like an ipa but just enough so that you get that um Ooh, the, that yeah, yeah yeah it's a good variety <laughs> oh we'll have to get that one yeah. We've also expanded try them into all doing some uh, hard seltzer. So we have um, in NSLC stores this summer, we have our pure McNabb black cherry hard seltzer in a six pack of cans as well. And that's named after the, the first uh, hard seltzer that was probably ever made in Halifax was actually made on McNabb's Island during mm -hmm. Prohibition. So it was uh, a little bit... Um, 
surreptitious, shall we say, secretly made. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've named it after that, and we're doing that uh, <laughs> that hard seltzer for people that are looking for something really light and refreshing. It's a great choice. It's only, so, I think, 90 calories. What's in it? Like, is it like a carbonated water? Is it... So it's like uh, if you've, I don't know if I'm allowed to say these these corporate names or not, but if it's like oh, a yeah. white claw or uh, yeah. So it's, um, is it alcohol? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. It's so it's uh, I think. it's alcoholic flavored seltzer, which is if you go to Sobeys and you get some, you know, um, cherry flavored bubbly water yeah but yeah. it has alcohol in it so. oh okay yeah okay. oh yeah so that's a lot that of fun too sort of refreshing. That and, there. Refreshing. and you you mentioned wine we do also have uh three different sparkling wines in cans that we've just released so there uh our fruit seco cans are sparkling wine with a fruit twist there's a white a rosé and a red, and they all come in 250 milliliter cans. And uh, they're a lot of fun too, great to take to the beach. So keep an eye out for those in your NSLC as well. Wow. We've been busy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely say. patio time. For sure, for sure. So uh, we're looking yeah, forward to you guys so coming out to visit us. Sorry I won't yeah. be there tomorrow, but uh, <clears throat> our folks are gonna take good care of you. There's the- uh... Sounds good. So there it is. Yeah, this is the Cider Host website. So this like how, coming up, it's going to be our this year is our tenth year anniversary. Yeah. And um, in mid August, you're going to see in NSLCs, you should see our tenth um, anniversary collection, which is going to be twelve 500 milliliter bottles of twelve different cider varieties that we've Ooh. developed over the years. So um, so that's really exciting for us. And we're going to be doing some contesting with that where people can win uh, some merchandise and some gift certificates to local restaurants and uh, just spreading the love out. And so, yeah, 10 years of Bulwark Cider. Wow. Oh, lovely. Now, nice. I'm, I can say I'm really enjoying this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you chip. for that. Yeah. Yeah. It does pair well with these chips. <laughs> I, it, chips Dude, are always a great pairing with any good. beverage, eh? Yeah. <laughs> food pairing now. We've elevated the show to food pairing. <laughs> mm. Cheers. 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 Sociable. Sociable. <laughs> As we say in the UK, bottoms up. Bottoms up. Come on, it's lunch. Cheers. Yeah. It's lunch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody, uh, Heather oh, wants to know, are any of the ciders sugar free? The, sh the cider does contain natural sugars. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't have any additional carbs um, beyond what is in it from the process of making it. Juice. I think it runs about... Um, I, I think it's six grams of sugar per hundred milliliters, but I'm, I'm trying to remember that. So don't, if I'm wrong by a, a gram, don't shoot me. Yeah. So your <laughs> seltzers, are they, they out now? Yeah. Yeah. They should be available at your local NSLC for sure. Okay. And they will be sugar free. Yeah. They don't have any, any, uh, sweetener, any sugar at yeah. all. Yeah. So it's yeah. just, the, no, the calories are coming just from the alcohol. Um, okay. And I think it's 90 calories per can. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to look that one up too. Yeah, it's great. It's great if, you, if you're trying to stay on the lighter side and it's just refreshing, especially if you're outdoors in the heat. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, give that yeah. a try. Let us know what you think. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really yeah. enjoying yeah. this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect thing to do it on was a Friday cider. night. Yeah. It was the cider that got have me. Have a cider. These are but really good. I might not like beer anymore. We're going to have to change the name. Behind the a cider. Strawberry rhubarb <laughs> is definitely. Yeah, so both, both the blush and the strawberry rhubarb should be right around 5.8% alcohol. Right. 
Um, yep. Some of our ciders are a little bit higher gravity, like our winter cider and the black cherry cider and the rum cider that we make um, are all in the uh, 8% range eight to nine percent range so watch yeah. out for those particularly the ones that we make with the fruit <laughs> wines end up being a little bit more highly alcoholic and we yeah. do have the raspberry cider that we do once a year and it's coming out next weekend you guys are the first to hear about it publicly mm -hmm. um pretty much every canada day weekend we release, <laughs> we release our one batch per year of raspberry cider so you'll uh, you'll see that on social media come down and grab that starting on the first can we order that one online? You will be able to order it online. It will sell okay. out. Um, yeah, so as soon exactly. as you see the announcement, I suggest going ahead and, and placing an order. It looks like Heather tried to join we'll us. Be there. She did ask a question. Yeah, raspberries are, are very uh, they're they're very fragile and they're very seasonal. So it it is something that we only do once a year. I can see that. I have a very small bush in my backyard. So, yeah, I understand. <laughs> There's Bob. I think I had the wrong link there, Bob. So, so I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Maggie. Yeah, I'll put myself up here. Here we go. Ah. Yeah. No, this was this was great, and it's nice to be able to talk to somebody who. Mm -hmm. no, that's right so who knows who that. has the knowledge uh, so many of these shows this is our fourth and for the first three we always had questions about the product and we just nobody knew <laughs> so thank you so much christine for for being here no we problem um i i'm gonna have to let you guys go here in a yep. minute i have been at work all day and my oh. phone is about <laughs> to die so thank you so much for no having problem. me it was, it was nice to meet you christine thank you nice to meet you thank too you. Have a good yeah, night, thank guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah you too. Take care now. Sociable. Sociable. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> mm, oh, Bob, I don't see any Bob, audio. Spot. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> no. And she's back. Hey. <laughs> All right, here, I can I can put you in the waiting room there, Christine. Uh, thank as long you. as I get the right one here. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Uh, I'm Strat with King's Green. How's those, How's those puppies of yours? <laughs> oh, he's in there on mute. He's muted. Yeah, he's gonna unmute him. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay now. Yeah. There you are. Okay. <laughs> you won't You're believe how now. much of a of a journey it's been just to get on here tonight. I'm sorry about that. I think I don't know what happens to those. Links. All technical issues on my part. <laughs> Zoom is very uh, sentimental. We had, had a little bit of an issue getting on too. Well, Facebook glitched on me just as I was going to go live, and I had everything set up, and I was going to go live in the event, and I had to just go live straight to NS Live because uh, I don't know. Facebook just glitched on me, so it's we're live, but we're not in the event that it should be in. So, oh well. <laughs> And unfortunately, you just missed Christine uh, Fritz from Bulwark Cider. She uh, she gave us some great information about the company and the and the ciders, and uh, we're really enjoying them. I've got the blush, and uh, a whole desk full of stuff. You would not believe how much stuff I have here, and a shirt. And I forgot to mention the shirt. You got some from the And we have I have the <laughs> strawberry rhubarb that's almost gone. Mm. I've got the original, which is very very nice. And I've, I've got, got a bottle opener as well. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with cider. That's what I say. That's right. <laughs> yeah, this is this is good stuff. I I really like yeah. your cider. It's going I wish down. We could do every show in cider. It's like all cider. Yeah. Ever since I moved here. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I've been drinking cider all the time, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> I was decided the other day. Uh, somebody had to Looks give like that joke got out there. Dinner there, cider and chips. <laughs> cider and chips and yeah. the chips. Oh, you, you missed it. We're food pairing now. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Haggis and the show, the show has been pepper. elevated. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> not sure I would have 
been my first choice off the shelf, but I, I couldn't tell you if it tastes like haggis. Is that a product, product placement? Product. Like, they're, they're royalties not bad. for showing the bag? I don't know if I would um, just eat a bag of them. <laughs> so, hold that while I get the cheesies. Yeah. <laughs> so, but they're not bad. Mm-hmm. Where did I, you get, I get them? I, um, Pete's, I think. At Pete's? Yeah. 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 Out in Bedford. Yeah. 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 Once again, I got to show the, the Bullrick yeah. website. I would like to go and check out their um, We're going to have a look at Cider House. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll check it's out this, the website yeah. first. You know what it is? Yeah. Oh, in Bob, the, the uh, cider house is down on Dresden Row, across from Pete's. Okay. And it's a real. I guess they're going to be having food and things. The the outside uh, patio is open now. Oh, that's been that's been such a uh, a welcome change to what we've been going through. You can do it. Yes. Um, and now that the nice weather is here, the patios are are really really popular. Come yeah. Yep. She was and saying they that they're bags. hoping um, within the within another month that they will have food there. Food, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so and like you can pizza, bring your puppies. <laughs> your puppies to the to the outside patio. Yes. In, in New Ross. Well, in New Ross. In New Ross, Ross clear, and in Halifax. Ross. And in Halifax. Did she say in Halifax? I, yes, I missed the Halifax, Halifax one. Yep. yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. Do you have a patio in New Ross as well? Yes. Yes. They yeah. What do you need? Bang, it's bang of chips. Huh? Hey? What? Yeah, so we'll have to do a, see, it'd be ideal chips. to do a live show right from there, right? Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> right from the Sorry, cider what hose. What was that, Brian? Oh. I'd love to do a live show right from the cider hose. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dogs, the people, the cider. Not good. <laughs> How long oh. has Bulwark been around? It's It's one of the longer mm. um longer operating cider cider, cider mm. makers isn't it he said it was 10 years it'll it will be 10 years they're doing their 10th anniversary right. yeah yeah. Like yeah they've been up in uh route 12 for some time yeah 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 yeah, we kind of watched them build that, I feel, yeah. <laughs> when we were traveling the Route 12 quite a bit. And you know, we, I mean, oh, we knew where the location was, and right. they got a big sign. And so I almost feel like, you know, and, and then the, the big uh, the big I bats and things started lady. coming. And, <laughs> so, yeah, they've been doing it for a few years now. <laughs> and she also mentioned that uh, they were gluten-free, or at least the blush was. I didn't catch if they all were, but. Um, vegan and they're... gluten-free. Um, yeah. Except for the gold one, the gold one has honey in it, so yeah. it's made with honey, honey brew. Yeah. So honey mead. Uh, yeah. yeah. Heather must have given up. Heather tried to come on there, but you have to update her, upgrade her. Internet. Was Heather? Was Heather on the uh, Facebook? Uh, she, she was. was yeah. She, she came on here for a bit too, but she uh, she couldn't uh, get on. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, uh, so, uh, she wants you to say. Heather wants you to save some of the raspberry, raspberry for her, Chris. <laughs> she could have mine. Well, when we order it, <laughs> we will. Right. And she says they need some diabetic-friendly choices. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah here, I've, <laughs> I've already, already yeah. picked her up some stuff. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so she is on the feed anyway. She's on the comments here. Yeah. Well, once we're Hi, located. Heather. <laughs> so I, I'm just going to post the, uh, w- the website there, and she can get the address from the website. Yeah. There we go. See, this is She'll great. be over in what? Two weeks. Two weeks. Here's. This is, a, this is a friend in PEI. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, so. Bulwark can you cider can hose. you bring me um, the other bulwark? And strawberry rhubarb, please. I got two. <laughs> yeah, get one for me while you're at two. it. Because <laughs> hand hand it's one really through the, the screen there. Uh. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
mine's, we'll have to try uh, mine's the, definitely fuzzy. Yeah, there's the <laughs> strawberry rhubarb. It's it's nice, but it's uh it's it's a lot. I find oh, okay. the can is out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good size can though. Uh, well, lightweight. <laughs> I want to kidding. I want to kidding. So the blush can is 355 milliliters, but it's 5.8 uh, percent. 355. So it's not a bad individual milk. serving size. How big are the blush cans? 355. 355. Yeah. That one's empty, by the way. Just let me know. <laughs> no, how much? 355. 355. Yeah. 355. Yeah. Oh, okay. These are. 473. Okay. Oh, yeah. 473. You're doing you're doing good, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Going through another one. Pounding them back, as they say. <laughs> These I really like. Mm -hmm. so, Better than open. <laughs> you know what? These these are nice in the summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These, these are great summer drinks. You're absolutely right there. Yeah. Nice and light and refreshing and made with fruit. To it's local not fruit. heavy. It's not mm. overly sweet. Yeah. Um, it goes down really easily. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's it's not. It has enough. It has enough flavor, but it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very, very drinkable. Nice, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as my almost empty oh. glass will attest. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how the, um, how the competition or how the market's been changed by um, so many of the craft breweries also producing ciders now. Yeah, it's a good point. Good point. Uh, fortunately, Christine's not here to, to answer that. But, uh, yeah, you definitely see the choices in the liquor store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, there's a really good broad choice. Yeah. Lots of different choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some different yeah I, mean, I mean, Bulwark was, was one of the originals, I, I think, in at least in Nova Scotia. So I just, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I just wondered whether, uh, I mean, in some cases, it could increase the market share the more that, you know, the more mm -hmm. product we see on the shelf. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, and, and the different flavors and the different, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. 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 They mm. definitely have um, a good um, variation of their their product. Yeah. Mm. So there's there's yeah. something for those that have more of a sweet palate or a dry. Dry. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, right. It seems to be a, a lot of selection from all the local brewers. If you ever notice, they, each one of them has quite a variety. It's it's almost hard to pick. They have so many. But uh, yeah, yeah. So whether that's a good thing is is the market saturated because there's so many flavors and variations. Hard to say. I, I'm no expert. <laughs> <clears throat> well, more choice, I guess. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nothing wrong more with choice. I mean, that's try. good for the consumers. Yeah. We like having yeah. that choice. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'm just wondering, is, is the production of mm -hmm. cider compared to craft beer, is, is it is it comparable enough that the like the breweries, are they are they brewing their ciders in house or are they mm -hmm. contracting them? I, I, I don't well, know. From what Christine said, brew, uh, Bulwark, they definitely brew their own. Yeah, yes. So they're, they're definitely in house. Her. Oh, I'm on top of somebody. <laughs> I'm on top of Heather. Here, I'll move. There we go. Slide me over. Ah, Heather! I see your forehead. There, hold on. <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah, made it. <laughs> Still no, connecting to audio. Needs. Yeah, don't see the audio symbol yet. That's all right. She'll get there. In the meantime, I'll show the, the website here for the... Uh, cider house itself beautiful location uh, we were there uh, picking up uh, well some swag um, a shirt <laughs> and a bottle opener and she gave me I'm some good. product to sample so 
So yeah, beautiful spot, and they're gonna be working on serving some food soon, and they got a beautiful patio. So definitely have to go down to Dresden Row and check them out down there. Yeah. yeah Brian, did they have haggis chips? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bring your you own, have maybe. To run I don't know. The street to eat <laughs> my foods and yeah. pick them up yourself. That's right. Grab your haggis chips. <laughs> yeah. Here I go. Show these to Heather. Heather. Oh. <laughs> I have to get them to the sponsor of the show, these people who are. <laughs> That's just... They're in Scotland. Yeah. Yeah, leave it to Grammy D to pick up haggis chips. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's been, I've only had haggis once in my life it was a long time ago. Tesco. That's good. We can see you, Heather. No, you had it in a wrong turn, you know? Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah. I still can't remember what it tastes like. Yep. Like meatloaf. <laughs> meatloaf. It took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, that meatloaf. That's the one I was thinking of. I got back to the hell in it. I'm here all week. <laughs> R.I.P. Jim Steinman. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. There we go. Wow, so, that was very intuitive. Tell Heather that they have at Bulwark's a hard seltzer mm. that we'll have to pick up. It's McNab Seltzer. McNab's Seltzer. Yeah. Yep. So we'll have to try that mm -hmm. for when uh, Definitely. she gets on off the island. <laughs> we just have to work our way through the drink menu. Yep. Well, that's no problem. <laughs> We have a back deck. <laughs> she just has to make it up a flight of stairs. <laughs> you know you got the right people on your beer show when they're going to drink the way through the menu. <laughs> yep. We've done that before, Chris. Yeah, oh, we have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in a previous yeah. life. <laughs> in a previous life. I can see a time very soon where everyone doesn't have to bother worry about the pandemic. Yeah. Everyone will be doubly vaccinated. Mm -hmm. It'll be a lot. Yeah. It's going to be a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, yeah. As he said in the 1940s, the war will be over by Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got our second uh, vaccine on Monday. Congratulations. On this oh. Monday. Awesome. Yeah. This, awesome. This Monday or last yeah. Monday? This no, coming last Monday. next coming up. Good. In two Good. days. Okay. Days. Yeah, three days. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so then we'll both be fully vaccinated. So then you can awesome. cough up here. Mean, so. My birthday's coming won't up the end of the July. So the Springsteen show in in New York because our first <laughs> shot was AstraZeneca. <laughs> <Wow>. uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think he knows about that one yet. I don't know about yeah. it. Yeah. I don't want to see Bruce Springsteen. I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> We do have tickets for Judas Priest in November. Yeah. Well, there you okay. go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> You're all I, I, I'm surprised that she's going. It was her idea. <laughs> I, I am yeah, have another bit. slider, Chris. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're driving that night. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. Well, I think we've had a had a good time, mm -hmm. but not a long time. Well, it's been a well, bit before. It was really nice to have Christine <clears throat> Fritz, yeah, Fritz from Bulwark to yeah. give us uh, information. It, it makes all the difference when you have uh, the rep on, and they can tell you about it. Bulwark. And I'm hoping uh, next week we'll have uh, somebody from Big Spruce. Yes, to talk about their oh, products. <laughs> They're on. They're on deck. <laughs> and, Excellent. Uh, they, they know about it. They're I gotta send deck. them some more information. So. <laughs> yeah, they're on deck and ready to go. Excellent. So this is gonna hopefully start taking off this time. Yeah. 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 This is cool. this has been that's nice. Cool. Yeah. Totally yeah. Yeah. Great thing to do on a Friday night. Sit back and have a drink and chat about it. And... Well, the thing is, I don't usually have a drink on a Friday night. I, I need a reason, and this is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good reason. It's a good reason to have a drink. <laughs> yeah. And we're promoting local products and local things. Yeah. And yeah. So it's all well, good. It's all good. So next week oh. is Big Spruce. 
Big Spruce. Big Spruce Conniption and Day. Spruce Day. Yeah. yeah, and then um, do you have one planned for July 2nd? I haven't got anybody confirmed yet. No, no. I'd really like okay. to get a winery on board so we could do a who, Who's Whining episode, but I yeah. haven't, uh, no, haven't confirmed anybody yet. It takes a lot of time to reach out to people and do all that stuff, so. It's got to okay. see who's got the best swag, right, Brian? Oh, exactly. <laughs> like shirts, hmm? <laughs> and And bottle openers. Yeah. And, uh. Coasters. <laughs> and there's a sticker behind me. There's a, a bulwark sticker too. This is the bottle yeah. opener that we. So if we had a bulwark one. What is that? <laughs> yeah, so bulwark's permanently on my wall now behind me. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. That well, I think on we'll fridge. wrap this one up. This has been yeah. fun. I'm going to go and do a little outro. You guys hang in there, and we can come back and chat a little more if you want. That's an entire Sounds good. You. So just hang Thanks, in there. Thanks, everyone. And, uh, Have a nice weekend. Nice to see you, Bob. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> well, there you have it. Behind the beer once again with Bulwark Handcrafted Ciders here in Nova Scotia. Thank you again, Christine, for coming on and telling us all about your great product. We greatly appreciate that, and it really elevates this show. And this, uh, I'm happy to say that we actually were able to also do some food pairing in this show. Yeah, so we really elevated it. <laughs> so no, thanks, everybody else, for coming on and being part of the, the panel and uh, talking about the product we greatly appreciate that. And now we know all about Bulwark and where to go and where to hang out and what to order when we do. So, yeah, I think it was a great show. Great success. Nova Scotia, we've got it all going on here. you got to come check it out when, the, of course, all the restrictions are lifted. But they're coming. We're getting there. So, so stay safe. Wear a mask and, uh, you know, do what you got to do. And we'll get together really soon. Not virtually. We'll do this live. All right. Have a great week, everybody. And, uh, oh, yeah. Don't forget, this Sunday we have a show of uh, the Nova Scotia Bull Talk Show, and uh, that's going to be a great one. I've got Caitlin Moorhood who's going to join me as a co-host, and uh, that's 7 p.m. And again, you can use Zoom to join in and uh, talk about whatever you'd like to. All right. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you soon. There you go. The Nova Scotia Bull. You are the star.